So what you need to do now is just go ahead and mute the original and just play and now play the games that you want me. So we have just the acapella now. Flip back to the um, the live view and hit hit the stop button twice to bring us back to the very beginning of the track and record and then just watch this movie star rhythm clip. How you doing up at the bowls up there? And that's all you really need to do. Um, go back to the the session view, expand the third audio track, and then click on it. Click on the Movie Star Rhythm Instrumental and pull it all the way over. And go ahead and play it anywhere just to see what it sounds like. And you can hear that it sounds pretty good. So already we can see that our instrumental does not um, is not as long as our acapella, so we need to go ahead and expand that. The best way to do that is to, you know, just copy and paste a piece of this track. What I'm going to do here is take the music that plays over our chorus or hook, select it, hold down control, click it, and drag it over, and then bam, it just makes a copy. And then I'm going to do that again so it lines up all the way through. And now we have an instrumental that is as long as our acapella, and um, it's pretty much, you know, it's decent. It's a great start. Um, everything sounds great all the way through if you listen. Um, the first thing I'm going to do to this acapella is I'm going to show you that you can see, like, where the, where the verses are, you know, they're not quite as, as loud as when the hook is. And for the original track, you can't really notice, and, you know, obviously the way it's mixed down. But what we have to do for this is, um, for the remix we're making, is turn this volume down just right here. So go ahead and click on the volume controller on track two, which is our acapella. You can minimize this if you want. Um, and this brings up our line automation for the, um, for the volume. So double click on it to make one of these points, and double click on it right here to make another point double click again to get a fourth point and drag this down to about negative negative 3.7 and then do that again here bring it down to about negative 3.7 and then go ahead and play it and see how that sounds which is a big improvement over um, you know what it was before um, and then do the same here and it's cool because you can see the wave the waveform and you um, you can do it visually you don't even need to be listening to it um, you can see where it gets big and you know you can visually make your adjustments and then listen and then you know make more adjustments and then listen and but um, you know, if you're going trying to go quick, like I usually do, you can just see it, do it, and then listen instead of just listening and making changes, listening, and making changes. So right here is um, is also a very, very loud. Well, it's more loud than the rest of it. So um, I pull it up a little bit, but not all the way. Oops. Um, you know, I maybe bring it up to a negative negative 1.88, and then bring it up back to full volume after that part which is negative point zero six and then I again you know drag it down to negative three seven here for our last two hooks and I'll just let that run out there and then if you play it through you can hear you know make it make the adjustments that you need to play it loud in your headphones or on your speakers and just make it sound nice all the way through so there's not a part that's overwhelmingly loud and like it would have been if we hadn't made these adjustments here and that goes for any part of the track um, you just gotta listen and make your adjustments also for the instrumental um, it's good to find you know try out different parts like if you think that this part right here might go better for the hook you know try it move it over and try it and see if it and listen if it sounds great then make that adjustment here and here and here and here by just copying it and holding control and you know copying it over you gotta you gotta listen you gotta do some trial and error there and just find the best parts to go with the best parts um, I'm not gonna do that now I'm just showing you you know your basic kind of thing on how to make this work so that's pretty much it um, go ahead and listen to it 
make your your adjustments and uh, listen enjoy comment subscribe let me know what you think and um, look forward to to putting some more of these up there for you later